My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who are the prophets and leaders of the nation of Israel. Peace, blessings, and safety to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the planet Earth. Calling on the name Jesus Christ will 100% not save you. And the Bible says so. And I'm going to show you why through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Lord willing. A Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. Now, what I did was I went to Google, I typed in what was Jesus' real name. You see here it says Yeshua. Yeshua. But as we know through research and study and faith that there's no U sound in the Hebrew language, neither is there an E sound in the Hebrew language. So it says Jesus' name in Hebrew was Yeshua, which translates to English as Joshua. So let's put this to the test. Let's see if these scholars, this is Google scholars, actually know what the hell they're talking about. Because it says, which translates to English as Joshua. So let's go to Joshua. Let's see what Joshua said. Because if we go to Joshua, it, says, it should say Yesh Ye Yeshua, right? Joshua. It says Yahweh Sha Wa I. Now they go off because they don't want you to know the true name. It should just say, you see, it's come from the root word Yahweh, right here, the root. From the root word Yahweh. That's why the Lord said, I come in my Father's name. Because his name has the Father's name in it. Now, Joshua, let's go back. Let's see, where is it at? I must have clicked the wrong verse. So I can bear with me. Okay. Let's go to the word Joshua. Yahawa. Now, Yah means he. Hawashai means the living. Remember the angel told Mary. Let's go to Matthew 121. Because the Hawashai's name. The reason why the angel told Mary to name him what he, what she want what the angel wanted her to name him is because of what he would do. See, we were in our heritage, we were named after what we would do in our life. So it says Matthew 121, and she shall bring forth a son, this is the angel speaking, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, because again there was no J. Okay, did, I, I misspoke. I said that the J was a, an extension of the Yah, which it kind of is, but the, but the J was actually an extension of the I. That's why uh, the Greeks call Yahawashai Iesus. I mean, uh, when you go back to the Greek translation of Jesus, it's Iesus because there was no J. So we know that it, w it wasn't Jesus by process of elimination. And we know that the Lord wasn't a Greek, neither, neither did he speak Greek, so we know it wasn't Iesus by process of elimination and common sense. Matthew 121, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai. Why? Why Why? Why, why was she to call him Yahawashai? For he shall save his people. Okay, for he shall save. That's his name right there. For meaning because. You're going to call him but Yahawashai, which means he, he saves, he delivers, because he's going to save his people from their sins. That's what, that's what this means. So when you go back, now let's go, let me go to the Lord's Prayer. Now 
the word Hawashai Hawashai means deliver deliver Hawashai Hawashai means deliver um, let me see so we're gonna come back to here we're gonna come back to uh, Joshua let me go to Hosea real quick I never went to Hosea's name but I want to see something Khan so Hosea the prophet Hosea his name is Hawashai which means what salvation you see Hosea or Hosea or Oshia which means salvation so you see the characters ha wa sha i hawashai hawashai so that's why when you go to the lord's prayer you see where it says deliver us it says hawashai now ha us nawa means us or are okay that's why you see above it it says kawab wath yanawa which means our debtors so when you put the nawa it makes it are or us but the beginning of the word is Hawashai, which means deliver or salvation or save. So let's go back. Hosea is Hawashai, Hawashai, right? Deliverer. You see down here it says deliverer. So let's go back. So now that we have the the, the Hawashai, we know what Hawashai means, which means he shall he uh, which means save, right? The angel told Mary that he shall save. So meaning he yah means he yah yah and how is shy because he's gonna save his people now when you go to joshua it said that joshua and yahweh had the same name so when you go to joshua again they go off they they, they go off on one point here because they added a wa it's not yahaw it's not yahawa sha well, I, because we, we just read that deliver means Hawashai. So Joshua, they have here Yahawashai, but it should be Yahawashai. Okay, Yahawashai. See, it says it says Jehovah is salvation, or Yahweh is salvation. That's what that's what that means. Yahawashai. He is salvation. Yah means he, or it's also short for Yahweh. So now let's get into why. So we know that the Lord's name was He saves. He saves. Yah means He. Hawashai means deliver us. Yahawashai was His name. Now, the reason why calling on any other name, especially Jesus Christ, won't save you is because that's an idol. And more, 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 more importantly, that the name of the Lord is incommunicable. Incommunicable. And we're going we're gonna to find out what that word means. Incommunicable. This is um Wisdom of Solomon 14. Now when you read Wisdom of Solomon 14, it's all about idols. Okay, it's all about idols. And what you're going to find out is that people took these idols and they placed the name and the reputation of our Lord on these idols. Which you cannot do. Doing that will not save you. You can't take the reputation of the Lord and attach it to a, a name of something else and say that when I call on this, I'm thinking about the Lord, so that's going to help me. No, it's not. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 12, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. For by the vain glory of men, they entered into the world and therefore they shall shortly come to an end. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, when he hath made an image of his son soon taken away, now honored him as a god, which was then a dead man, and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. The main person that this was done with was, is uh, so-called Jesus, Cesare Borgia. Serapis Christus was his real name, which was the Pope of uh, Caesar Borgia was actually the Pope of Alexander the sixth son. All right, who had sex with his sister? Was Messiah fourteen and sixteen, and he was a homosexual also. That's why you got a lot of homosexuals in the church because they worship that 
image of that homosexual. Wisdom of Solomon 14, 16, thus in process of time an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings, whom men could not honor in presence because they dwelt far off. They took the counterfeit of his visage from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that by their by this their forwardness they might flatter him that was absent as if he were present 18 also the singular diligence of the artificer did help to set forward the ignorant to more superstition right so that's why people are scared to stop worshiping Jesus because of the they're ignorant because of the more superstition. You know, they tell they, they tell you that um you only see why do they say that the name don't matter but yet you can only call on Jesus. It, it doesn't matter if you call him you can't it doesn't matter that you don't call him by his Hebrew name or by a Hebrew a Hebrew name, any Hebrew name, shoot. Let's say you don't like Yahweh Shah. Okay, let's say you go with Yeshua. But they'll tell you that you can't call on Yeshua. You have to call on Jesus because that's that idol, man. That's that idol. And the other names are just false names. But Jesus Christ is an idol. And there are a lot of superstitions that come with Jesus Christ. It says also the singular diligence of the artificer, artificer did help to set forward the ignorant to more superstition. For he, peradventure, willing to please one in authority, forced all his skill to make the resemblance of the best fashion and so the multitude of lord by the grace of the work took him now for a god which a little before was but honor 21 uh the point is in um let's see where the point is oh yeah the point is in 21 it says and this was an occasion to deceive the world you see for men serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto stones and stocks the incommunable name now what does that word incommunable mean so because some people as ascribed uh stones and stocks they, they they put the name and the reputation of the lord onto these stones and stocks onto these idols let's let's go to that word incommunable let's go to it and when you go to this definition, you have to dig because you're not going to get the meaning at first. You're not going to understand it. It says, not communi communicable such as incapable of being communicated or imparted. Let's dig deeper because that wouldn't make sense. It said it's ascribed, ascribed unto stones and stocks the incommunicable name. So how can they ascribe something that's not able to be communicated unto stones and stocks if it's not able to be communicated so we know that's not what it's talking about so let's dig deeper let's click on uncommunicative uncommunicative it says not disposed to talk or imparted information reserved let's let's click on reserved restrained in words and actions kept or set apart so this name the name of the lord is set apart okay it's holy the word holy means to be set apart it says kept or set aside it's like it kept or set apart or aside for future or special use okay now let's go let's dig deeper let's go to the etymology of the word which it means the study of its origin incommunicable it says not able to be communicated from the 1570s early in a now disused sense not communicative Let's go dig deeper. Let's go to communicable. It says late 14th century communicating from old French communicable directly from the late Latin communicabilis from Latin communicare to share, divide out, communicate, impart, join, unite. So you can't unite an idol with this with, with, with the name Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. It's not going to save you. It's not going to save you. Furthermore, there's no, there, there, there's no, um, there, there's, there's no, there, it lacks um, the name of our Lord, which wasn't translated at all. It was transliterated, but the name of our Lord is is uh, untranslatable. You know, when you when you go from Yahweh to Jehovah, it doesn't have the same power. This is the prologue of Sirach. The prologue of Sirach. I'm gonna start in the middle. 
it says uh was drawn on it says was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to these things might profit much more in living according to the law wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention and to pardon us wherein we may seem to come short of some words why because the english language is very limited the greek is very limited compared to the hebrew because the hebrew is straightforward so what english does is they add work they add certain words to further give detail to what they believe is being said it says um wherein we may have seemed to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the for the same things uttered in hebrew and translated in another tongue meaning another language have not the same force in them and not only these things but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference so the prophets the law um and the rest of the whole bible don't have the same force in it when they're translated from the hebrew because the hebrew is the heavenly language that's the language that the angels speak so if you want to communicate with the angels so that your prayers reach the father quicker you know common sense would tell you to do it in the hebrew and the elect are going to call on the name and we're not telling you that you got to say hebrew prayers and you know be fluent in hebrew because i'm not fluent in hebrew i don't know every hebrew prayer but what I do know is the names. And the elect is going to call on the names in the Hebrew tongue. It says communicable. Let's get to the point. It says meaning capable of being imparted or transferred. You cannot transfer the name or the reputation or the spirit or the vibration of the Lord to another name, to, to anything else. I heard IUIC say that you could call the Lord Jalapeno Pepper and he would deliver you. That is a fucking lie. It says, meaning capable of being imparted or transferred, ready to be con conversed or imparted information to make common. So the definition in this context is able to be imparted or transferred. The, this name is intransferable. This is the incommunicable or intrans, because it says this is the definition of communicable, right? It says um, transferred. So communicable means transferred. Incommunicable means the unable to be transferred you cannot transfer this name of Yahweh to anything else alright and furthermore just to prove that calling on Jesus will not save you Acts 4 and 12 Acts 4 and 12 neither is there salvation in any other any other what any other name the incommunicable name because the name is incommunicable neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given. The name is given. The name is given. Are, aren't we under the heaven? If we're under the heaven, you know what that means? That means that the name is given. If you reject the name, that's on you. Because this is the stone which the builders refuse. We're going to have some people out here, brothers and sisters. We're going to have some people out here that reject the name. Acts 4 and 11, this is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner because they don't understand that the name is the head cornerstone. It's the most important part of this building that we're building. Without the name, we don't have the power to do what we do. Without the name, we don't, we don't have the power to cast out demons, to, to come against these evil spirits that come up to the camp and to be able to combat them. Without the name, we would not have that power to put these precepts together and think of these precepts and these, all these precepts come to mind to defend the gospel. Without the name, we wouldn't have that. Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given. The key word is given, man. Given among men whereby we must be saved. See, this is the only name. And you know why they don't take it seriously? Because of verse 13, it says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men. See, they perceived that we're just niggas, man. We're just young black dudes, probably didn't graduate college, probably didn't go to college, probably didn't graduate high school. You know, what do we know? We're stumbling over words. We barely know how to read that well. What do we know, right? But the Holy Spirit taught us all things. Acts 4, 13, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were ignorant and, and unlearned men. They marveled and took knowledge of them that they had been with Yahweh Shai. So they take knowledge of us that we have been 
with the true teachers, the prophets, the elders, the apostles, who the elders and apostles uh, have Yahweh Shai sup with them. With Yahweh Shai supping with all of us, but the Spirit is given by measure, and the greatest measures were given to the elders and apostles, the prophets. So anyway, the point has been made, Lord will this edify unto the elect. My name is Brother Yaquam Amana. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.